Anton Sokolov, once the royal physician and head of the Academy of Natural Philosophy. In your prime, the most sought-after painter in all the Empire. My hero in younger days. Now, my puppet. If you're going to use this inelegant-looking device against me, get on with it, Jindosh. Though I'm not sure what you hope to accomplish. I must admit to feeling a bit of professional curiosity as to the function of the apparatus. Patience, friend. Patience. The sequence of events is important. You'll come to understand my electroshock machine, but when? Before or after that light leaves your eyes? And where does it go when it disappears? Who will tell me that? Has anyone ever loved the sound of his own voice as much as you do, Kieran? Perhaps the device could tell us that. No, sadly it cannot. But what it can do is take from you the thing you love the most. Your precious intellect. If you won't agree to collaborate on the next clockwork prototype, I'll use the device on that brain of yours, Sokolov. Well, that was a long one. I guess Sokolov is right. Karen Jindosh really likes the sound of his own voice. Light along the inverse curve. That is Sokolov in his younger days, although not particularly young. I have started a new effigy cast in Sokolov's shape. Brianna. Brianna Ashworth. Who is she exactly? Alright, well, we're now plundering everything in Kieran Chindush's lab. We always seem to not find anything here. It's gotta be a cabinet somewhere. More of this. It's written a lot of notes on this one. Well, if Sokol of Camp made help me, I'll continue to use the machine as entertainment. Jesus Christ. Well, he's dead now be able to do this to people any longer. Blueprint. And yes, that's totally worth carrying around a dead blood fly for five coins. The rune is below somehow, so we've got to Elevator should help, I suppose. Maintenance, maybe? Hey, grenades. Good. Oh, there wasn't anything here. Maintenance key. We don't have that. Can go here. Can I forge? It's a long way down. Ah, the balcony. So I guess I could have taken that path, sort of. Go out the balcony, forage over here. Uh, I could probably just jump this. And then we would have been here. Okay, that's good to know. But, we don't have the key. I think we just go further down. And find Sokolov. The assessment chamber. Well, there's a wall of light or something up here. Thankfully, we have the whale oil tank right here. Why is the wall of light out of juice? Well, well, well. That makes for so a good little see. trap. What was it? Sounds like an elite guard. Let's see how you deal with a shadow. What? Not very well. Is she alone?
looks like. Sisters of the Oracular Order. Hmm. Some of them held doubt until the formerly held position on the illegitimacy of our new Empress. And then... Okay. Duke advises the Oracular Order and them. Nice, Bone Charm. Godder Feast, if that's the same as in one, it means I get stuff from eating rats. Yeah, there we go. White rats can be eaten for mana. Uh, I mean, sure. Why not, I guess? I haven't really been throwing much grenades at me, so I feel it's probably still worth it more. It's down here to the right. It looks like a type of maze thing or something. Leave her here. But if I can go around first, maybe. There's bound to be a few guards here. Yeah, there we go. Shadow walk again. It's so easy. So simple. So satisfying. Oh, a kitchen. Maybe we should kind of avoid them, not to raise any alarm. Do not use between 3 o'clock and 7 o'clock. I need my 4 hours of sleep. Alright. I guess the elevator's pretty loud then. Don't charm up there. The rune is all the way over there. I mean, I really want to find them. I don't want to leave without them. Here we go. Is it true that our mother was a kitchen maid? Even if so, that does not prove she was Emperor Yuhorn's daughter. Why didn't he make the proper arrangements? What else do we know? We can date her past. But where was she between the earlier times and this year when she ascended the throne in Dunwall? Dot dot dot. Yeah. She's a fake. I mean, maybe she is um, Yuhorn's daughter, but... That doesn't mean she's the rightful empress. Good, good crossbow bolts. We spent a lot on the clockwork soldier, so that's handy. More notes. Sokolov won't deign to aid me in my efforts. Good. Okay. Standing by. So this is... Where is he? Is he around this side or behind a wall? Oh, there he is. Um, grenades worked well on these. And... I think, honestly, it's one of the few things I'm going to use grenades on, so... Here we go. There's one. We're probably going to need a second. Playback indicates a young woman. Ah, uh, we're a little detached. There we go. And another one of these. Whatever they do. Okay, now we just need to figure out this maze thing. Stand and think. Oh. Ah, loot. Full on them, full on that, full on that. We're full on everything. You know what? I haven't used a single rewire tool on these things yet. I mean, maybe I don't need to. 
Oh, I have to stand on it for the entire time. Come on! There we go. And this would be the one for Sokolov. Finally, here we go. The blood topology of Grim Alex. Whoever Grim Alex is. Just gonna eat, just gonna eat a little bit of Sokolov's food, why not? Sokolov. Things have gone further than I thought. But Kirin Jendosh? Not a threat anymore. You were an interesting little girl. You've become a fascinating woman. <laughs> that was enough excitement for him for a while, it looks like. Okay, so now we gotta get him back. My dear Anton. Man, he is a sadistic son of a bitch. I mean, he was basically torturing him, I suppose. So. I think we're full. Yeah, we're full of men already. Okay, Anton. We're leaving. What happens if we stand on this? Um. I guess we're just trapped now, so we have to stand on it again, okay. And then we stand on the one outside instead, yeah, yeah, yeah. Fairly straightforward, honestly, okay. I, I was worried it was gonna be more puzzly, but it's... Oh, I say that, and now I need to... Oh, this one should be fine. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so... There's still the rune. We can't just... run and escape. I mean, not that I need to pick up every rune, but... still, it's annoying to leave them behind. Conservatory has been closed. Curator Brianna Ashworth could not be reached. It's got to be here somewhere. On this floor. Clear. I'm bringing up the arc pylon. No, you're not. You are very much not. The arc pylon, if you haven't played Dishonored 1, oh, uh, is basically a big giant Tesla coil that just electrifies people that get close. Not very Someone's convenient. Huh? Down you go. There are still more guards here. Um. <laughs> Come here. Hmm. It's a little guest area is nice, but Kieran Jindosh. Doesn't seem to have the rune. The Arc Pylon and the Wall of Light security systems. Yeah, we saw lots of those in Dishonored 1.
tasty food. Bread, potato. It's still in the wrong place, I think. Um... Where did you guys come from? Oh, that was a mistake that cost you guys greatly. Still don't have the maintenance thing, but... It says this is a breakable door. I have grenades right here. I actually haven't broken a door yet, but I might as well try. Actually, that might not be safe enough distance. Let's go here. And then let's grenade the door. Sticky grenades, I suppose. That's the one we just picked up. I mean, it was right there. We can anchor it to the door to make it safe. Get the hell out. There we go. Oh, this is right underneath uh, the main floor of his lab. And here's the rune, thank god. Finally. Kirin, you ask where the void looks and feels like if it can be measured like a real place. The void is unspeakable, it is infinite and it is nowhere, ever-changing and perpetual. This is really interesting. Um, the Brigmore which has ended with Doubt either flat out killing Delilah or trapping her inside a painting by screwing up her ritual. So now she's back and assuming that what happened in the DLC happened, which I assume it did, then she... She's back somehow, and she's been through something. Ah, uh, yeah. This would be the way you get to that floor if you don't go straight ahead like I did. You come through this one, maintenance door, pull the lever, take him out from here. More and more interesting stuff with Delilah. find out more about her. Is it a curse or a blessing to linger past your time in the world? Well, we have the shortcut up here now. Or shortcut. I guess we always had this. It's not like we unlocked anything. I mean, even if the door had been open, there's a lever right here to be able to open the walls. Of course, it would be unlikely that we weren't. We have pretty much everything here right now. Might be a bone charm I don't have, but eh. Still haven't found the strong arms bone charm. I would love that one. It's more of a big deal when you're playing non-lethal, I guess. But maybe there's a bunch of cool new ones I haven't found yet. I mean, I assume there is. But. Oh, I dropped so glove. Ah, this one is still active. I can fight him, but that risks Sokolov getting hit. So I can just bypass him instead. Like this. Where's the door? Okay, well he's not. He doesn't see me anymore. The door should be on the. What? Oh, here. There we go. Let's leave. Uh, lower. Take it all the way back to Megan. Carrying Sokolov around is obviously a bit of a limiting factor. So hopefully it's smooth sailing from here on out.
That was a really cool level, though. I I was very impressed. Wait, who was that? I recognize that voice. You are a nuisance to the city. Didn't anybody tell you? I recognize that voice. That's a witch. One of Delilah's sisters. Not real biological sisters, but... How many are they? If we can avoid them? Okay, no, not as good. I can't fight with Sokolov here. I need to drop him somewhere. Ow. Okay, we need to get Sokolov safe and then we can fight. Okay. Let's do this. You're not the only one with powers. Our enemies get stronger and stronger. First it was just guards. Then it was clockwork soldiers. And now, Delilah's witches. You did it. How is he? He's frail and wounded, but he'll recover. I didn't think it was possible. You must have a story to tell. I'll hear it back at the ship. Let's go then. <laughs>